Hi there, it's Jeff. Well, you've built your draw cabinet, fitted your drawers, and now you've got to fit your draw fronts on. And because you've got a closed top here, it's a little bit tricky because you've, you can't clamp your actual top draw front on to screw it in. Well, I've got a few tricks that I can uh, share with you on an easy ways to actually mount these on in a professional way. Okay, before we begin, let's go through a few things. I've got my draw fronts here and I've actually positioned these uh, in place with spacers. So you can get yourself some, uh, these are just plastic window packers. You can use bits of laminate, uh, bits of edge tape, uh, even a pack of uh, playing cards if you want, just till you get nice even gaps. So these actually draw fronts have been cut, measured out, uh, minus the gaps and the edging, and they're ready to actually be fitted. But you need to space out your, your draw gaps. So what I mean by that, is put these in position and just by putting a little bit of packing here and there for your gaps and that's my top one a uh, bit of window packing okay and just, it's a pretty similar thing, even on the sides. Um, so it should be pretty even. There. That's pretty close. I'm just gonna tape that into position. And it's a matter of, this is your first process, basically fitting your draw fronts on, just, just sitting them in place, packing them out with spaces, and stepping back, having a look at your gaps, and making sure you know, they look pretty even. And once you're happy with them, uh, the next st step here is to fit, uh, not to fit, but to drill the holes for your handles, if you're having handles on it. So in my case, I'm putting these handles on. They're gonna go in the middle there like that. So what I'm going to do next, uh, before I do anything, is measure, mark the center of these drawers. Uh, these are 128 millimeter centers. I'm gonna drill those holes into the draw fronts. I've marked them one and two, so I know which way they go back. And just for the record too, this is being grain board. You want that grain to match, so all the lines run into each other, just off one section of board. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, drill some holes for my handles into the draw fronts first, and that's part of uh, the process of fitting this, tr this tricky top one in, believe it or not. Um, so we'll do that next, and then um, we can start fitting the draw fronts. Now the bottom drawer we fit first. We pull the top drawer out, and we can actually clamp the bottom one um, into position where we want it like that. We clamp it, we screw it from the inside. The bottom one's relatively easy. It's the top one that's tricky. So that's where the holes for the handle are gonna come into play and I'll show you that later on. So let's get started with the uh, drilling of the holes. Okay, here I'm using a bit of masking tape um, so I can put my pencil marks on the draw front and plus the this uh, board is actually dark, so it's hard to see the pencil marks. I'm using the masking tape to help. I'm gonna work out um, the center of this uh, draw front along its width and put a couple of marks there. And then along the length of the draw front, I'm going to subtract uh, the handles. So this, my handles are 128 millimeter centers. So I'm gonna subtract that from my length of draw front and then divide it by two so that will give me uh, where those uh, marks will be for the uh, draw uh, handles.
Once you've drilled your handle holes in both drawer fronts, next start with the bottom drawer front. And as you can see, I've got the top drawer uh, out. And just position that bottom drawer front with your gaps, uh, the same as what you had it before when two of them were in. And then you're going to clamp that into position. And like I said before, this is the easier one because you have access to clamping it over the top like this. This is your first preference. So do it this way if you can, and then uh, pull the drawer front out and screw it into position from the insides. Okay, the next step is fitting the top drawer front. And after I've fitted the top drawer in, I've pre-screwed a couple of screws through the, the drawer box, just so you can see them sticking out there, a couple of millimeters. And then I'm going to position the drawer front uh, with my packers, as I previously did before, get, getting the right gaps. And then you're gonna see me just, uh, just giving that drawer front a little bit of a press and thump just so uh, it, there's those screw points actually leave a, an impression on the inside of that drawer front. And then they are gonna be your reference points on where those screws land. So after I've um, pulled the drawer front back off, you'll see me just using a spike and just uh, getting those points a little bit more thorough and then just screw them off from the inside. So that's your first method. Okay, now you're gonna see me showing you a second method of fitting that top drawer front. Again, I'm gonna fit that drawer front into position using the packers till I get the, the right gaps that I had before. And then I'm going to hold it into position and drill through where those uh, handles go on the front there on the top. So I'm gonna use the same drill bit um, and that drill bit, by the way, for my handle, uh, the threads that actually bolt the handle on, I'm, I'm just using a drill bit that's slightly bigger and drill them right through. So they drill right through to, through the actual draw box behind. And then I'm gonna bolt that handle in from the inside. And then that handle will be a little bit like a guide, you know, of, of holding that draw front on into position and you can actually loosen off, you can back those, those threads off off the handle and tighten them up again and just wiggle that drawer front up and down till you actually get the gaps perfect, then tighten them off and then screw the drawer front off from the inside. This is where that little bit of adjustment comes into play. I'm going to back off those uh, bolts that hold on the handle and just uh, wiggle that drawer front up or down a little bit till those gaps come perfect. 
and then like I said I will tighten off that those handles and then I'll screw off that draw front from the inside. Next I'm just going to use some of the uh, edge tape that I used on this job and put some double sided tape on the back of it and just using a punch uh, make some caps for those screws on the inside of the drawer fronts just to uh, finish those off nice and neatly. Well there you go, uh, two drawer fronts on, nice and neat with the handles on and uh, gaps all round to match. It is a little bit tedious this, pr this process and it is uh, a little bit harder when you have a fixed top like this but there are ways around it like I showed you. Obviously a little bit easier if your top is removable and you can, you can actually work from the top and clamp and then screw um, from the inside through your drawer fronts. But there is these couple of methods here and it's just a matter of playing around using that handle as your locator, loosening it off, tightening it, just getting your gaps right, tightening it off, and then you can screw from the inside. So hopefully maybe you know, you've learned something from this or you've got a project coming up that you know, you're thinking about tackling and didn't know how to do it, and maybe you've learned something from it. So thumbs up if you did like it, subscribe, share, and look out for my up and coming uh, next video. I'm gonna show this uh, bedside cabinet or table uh, in full the project from start to finish so if you're interested or in how it was made keep an eye out for that one and hopefully I'll see you in our next one